This is one of multiple videos discussing RIP or Routing Information Protocol. We've been told that in this topology, Router 1 is not able to ping the loopback of Router 4. So let's verify that. On Router 1, ping 4.4.4.4. We can see in the output that the pings are not successful. Trace to 4.4.4.4. Trace route doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Let's do a debug IP packet to confirm what's going on. Be careful in the real world with the debug IP packet command. You don't want to run that on a live network without using an access list to limit the output. You'll get a huge amount of information otherwise. So I'm going to turn off debugging. And notice we see unroutable. The packet is not routable. We are in this output seeing that the, the local router is sending updates on 224.009. That is the multicast address for RIP. So show IP protocols shows us that RIP is running on the local router. RIP is advertising various networks and we are receiving information from a router with IP address 10.1.1.2, which is router 2. Show IP route shows the routing table. We are learning some routes. So as an example, we should be able to ping the loopback of router 2, which we can because of that entry. But we don't see network 10.1.3.0 in the local routing table. We don't see network 3 and we don't see network 4. So it looks like there's a problem on router 2. So on router two, show IP route. We are learning about network one, which is the loopback of router one, but we're not seeing any other routes in the routing table. Show IP RIP database shows us the RIP database. We see the local interfaces and we see interfaces connected to router one, but we don't see router three or router four. Debug IP RIP. Let's see if the debugs show us anything. Okay, we already see a problem. I'm going to stop the debug. Notice this ignored version 1 packet from 10.1.2.2. Illegal version. So let's see what's going on. Show IP protocols on router 2. RIP is enabled. The default send and receive version is version 2. Version 2 is being sent and received on both physical interfaces as well as the loopback but we are receiving a version one packet from 10.1.2.2, which is router three. So on router three, show IP protocols. RIP is running on router three. Can you see the problem? Default send version is version two, receive version is version two, but on gigabit zero zero, the send version is version one, receive version is version two. So show IP route here shows that this router is learning about the loopback of router one. So it's receiving routes from router three, but it's not sending routes to router three. That's because it's accepting version two updates, which is what router two is sending, but router three is sending version one RIP updates on gigabit 00. So show run, interface gigabit 00. Notice this command, IP RIP send version one. So on that interface, I'll use the command no IP RIP send version one. Do show run interface gigabit 00. Command has been removed. Show IP route on router two. We haven't learned any routes yet. Debug IP RIP. RIP is a slow protocol, but notice here we are already receiving updates about network four. Back on router three, show IP route shows us that the routes are on the routing table. On router two, show IP route. We've now learnt about network four. So ping quadruple four, that looks better. What about on router one, ping quadruple four? Ping works. So we've resolved the issue with RIP in this network. Be careful 
with your versions. I'll just turn off that debug. Show IP protocols shows you the RUP versions sent and received on individual interfaces. Show IP protocols. Make sure that your versions are set correctly so that both sides are using the same version for sending and receiving. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.